morning, Hopkinton Middle School, and welcome to the latest edition of HMS Today. I'm your host, Dan Kirk. Today we'll wrap up goals, have a question of the day, bring you Fun Fact Friday, and talk to drama club members. First up is morning announcements with Mr. Keller. Thank you. Science Fair meets every day next week in room 247. Student Council. Students will be able to write their messages to be delivered to teachers next week for Teacher Appreciation Week. These messages are free to send but the impact they will have on your teachers is priceless. Please make sure to stop by the teacher appreciation message table at lunch, or you can stop at Ms. Bates' room before or after school. Running club will take place today at two o'clock in Ms. Stuckel's room. Please check lost and found in the cafeteria and locker rooms today. Any items remaining there at the end of the day will be donated. An announcement from the Boston Marathon race director. The place on the course with the least amount of fans and cheering is between miles one and two. It would be great to have HS, HMS students and teachers there to cheer on the runners. There's a reminder to all students in grades seven through 12 that you must pay a fee for school busing next year. If you wish to ride the bus next year and you are in seventh grade and will be in seventh grade next year, please apply and, and make payment for busing by May 1st. Thanks and have a great April vacation. Birthdays. Happy birthday today to Jaden Francie Weber, Abby Furlong, and Tommy Villa. On Saturday, happy birthday to Haley Goldner, Sophie Goodnow, and Anthony Rodriguez. On Sunday, happy birthday to Gianna and Isabella Eddy, and Kel Kelsey Eddy, Colin Tyne, and Sean Walsh. And now, back to the Anchor Desk. Thanks, Mr. Keller. And now it's time to move on to goals. Today is our last goal segment and we'll hear about realizing goals and encountering difficulties. And to Sophie and Sage, we didn't forget about you. What you get by achieving your goal is not as important as what you become by achieving your goals. Henry David Thoreau. Hi, I'm Mr. Cheney, 7th grade social studies teacher here. Um, I set a goal uh, to sign a new professional soccer contract by September 1st, and I'm happy to report that last week I renewed my contract with Mass United Football Club of the American Soccer League. Um, achieving this goal is an uh, absolute dream come true. I've been working my entire life for this. When obstacles arise, you change your direction to reach your goal. You do not change the decision to get there. Zig Ziglar. As you know, my goal was to run the Boston Marathon this Monday, April 20th. I've trained since July to get where I would be able to complete it. A few weeks ago on a long run, I sustained an injury. I did everything I was told by my doctor to be able to complete the run. Unfortunately, I re-injured myself and will be unable to run this Monday. My reaction was immediate despair, discouragement, and anger. I gave myself a pity party because I was so sad. I knew this was not going to do any good to me or anyone, so I have come up with a new plan. I have a doctor's appointment on Monday to find out what I can do to make my knee better. I'm going to begin to swim in the evening at Milford High School pool to maintain my fitness. As soon as I get the word to run again, I will. I'm sharing this with you because although most of you were able to meet your goals, I know some of you inevitably ran into obstacles. Do not let those obstacles get in your way. You may have to defer or modify your goal, or in some cases you may feel sad and discouraged, but never let yourself be defeated. Thank you for sharing your goals with me. Thank you to each one of you who asked about my progress. Congratulations to all of you who reached your goals. Your hard work was, has paid off. To those of you who fell short, reevaluate and prove yourself to be resilient. I'm proud of all of you. I'm Sophie, I'm in grade eight, and my goal is to read a total of 26 hours. I'm Sage, I'm in grade 8, and my goal is to finish writing a book by December 25th, 2015. Thanks to Ms. Grady and Mr. Cheney, Sophie and Sage. And since we're on a goals roll, here comes the question of the day. What was your goal? I want to make it to the Olympics or Junior Olympics by the time I'm 16 for equestrian show jumping. My goal is to eat 26.2 cookies in under two minutes. I guess hanging out with my friends more. <laughs> to take out the trash. To lose 15 pounds. To hug 26.2 people. To spend 26.2 days with Miss Abate. My goal is to run a 10K race this summer. To throw out one person every two baseball games. To, to be, be nicer, nicer to our twins. twins. To get better at math. 
I want to get an A in every subject. To dedicate my life to helping others. We hope everyone has achieved their goals or is well on their way. And now it's time for Fun Fact Friday. Hi, I'm Tris. Mr. Rockwood isn't here today, but welcome back to Fun Fact Friday. The fun fact of the day is, the longest word in the English language that is in alphabetical order is the word almost. Lastly, we take a look inside a drama club rehearsal, where we were wondering, why join the drama club? Well, the teacher's great, Mrs. Gifford, and we, I learn a lot of stuff. Well, Miss Gifford's great, and I think it's, kind, it's really fun, like acting, being someone who you're not, and like just changing characters and stuff. I like being a different character and getting to transform. I also like during shows, like getting to dance, because it's just like, I feel like it adds on because you get to do more stuff. Because it's like a giant family and like everybody's so supportive and it's just really entertaining to be in this and it's awesome. I like drama because it's like a place where you can really transform into anyone you want to be and everyone here supports you and stuff so it's really fun. I've always had love for acting and um, you just feel like you can escape and like you know get out of reality and just like you know be free I guess. Hope to see you at the performance coming up on May 1st and 2nd. And that makes us way over on time. For everyone here at HMS-TV, I'm Dan Kirk. Study hard.